What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be taking a look at Nintendo Labo VR Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild VR with the first person mod. So yesterday I did a full review on Breath of the Wild VR and there's one concept that I didn't really get across which is how pixelated it is and by me showing you a video of it you kind of don't get a full idea of it however if you look at it right here you'll notice that the pixel density is visible also my cardboard is a little dirty but those little lines are pixels and they can only display one specific color in those pixels which if you look right around Link's bow that's when it starts to get a little weird and I've had some time to mess around with the first person mod with and without VR and it's a little sad to say that with the first person mod it actually makes the experience much more enjoyable for a couple of reasons first of all if you are doing Breath of the Wild VR I do recommend starting a new game because as long as they're not pre-recorded cutscenes, most of the cutscenes are in 3D and it's kind of enjoyable. Also for anyone who may have said, and maybe he has a problem with VR regularly, I don't. I own a Rift, I play Beat Saber for hours on end, I've played Super Hot, I've played Accounting Plus, I'm familiar with VR and I don't get nauseous from it, but it has to do with the low frame rate and the pixelization of everything that kind of really upsets me and upset in my stomach yesterday. So let's go ahead and get a super, super close up zoom of what we're looking at here. Also, I've noticed that when you're starting off the game, when you have three hearts, it's almost impossible to see your health, which is kind of a drawback. Now, this is just about what you're seeing in Labo VR. You're seeing only the middle and when you're in first person, keep in mind that this is a mod for the Nintendo Switch and requires you to have custom firmware. I don't recommend doing it, but I just kind of want to show you what it's all about. It's a lot easier on the eyes, mostly because the field of view is a lot smaller now. So because of that, you're seeing less on the sides than you would normally. And with that, it's, it's actually much more manageable. Like in yesterday's review, when I zoomed in when I was in the Lost Woods, you got to see that when I was zoomed in, things were super clear. That's because they were taking up a lot more of the space. So now I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of exactly what it looks like in first person and without first person. As for the original, as soon as you enter the shrine, you'll start to notice that it's, it's a lot more panned out, of course. And then also because of that, things appear a lot smaller and a little bit more pixelated. But then even when you're going down corridors and stuff, I mean, it's just a very different feel playing in first person versus third person. So I guess it would kind of come down a little bit to user preference. Now, when it's in third person, it looks pretty much exactly the same, but it's only when you're really moving around that it becomes that dramatically easier. But at the same time, it's just significantly more crisp in first person. And this kind of goes to show that if Nintendo wanted to, they could totally make this a thing. They could totally decide to make it so when you play in VR mode that you enter first person or at least a more shallow depth of field. Or maybe they could possibly do something to Link to make it seem a little bit less pixelated on his actual body while you're playing. And of course, when teleporting into place, it's so much better because, well, you're not, you, you don't have to look at all those particle effects some, from so far away. And in this one scene alone, everything looks crisp. Mostly because the floor is right in view, it's not super far away. Even the center area doesn't look that bad. Now granted, in the headset, it looks a little bit worse. Mostly because you do have those little actual pixel lines going through. And the pixel density of the video you're watching is better than what it is on the VR headset. So overall, what I'm trying to say is if they did something for VR, it would overall be a much more enjoyable experience. The Nintendo Switch's front screen has a pretty low pixel density on that 720p screen, so they kind of need to do some tricks in order to make it work. But at the same time, I don't think they wanted to. 
you're not paying for the experience of Zelda in VR. It's just one of the perks of having the VR headset and having Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Plus, for a game that's over two years old, it makes sense that they're not really doing anything more for it. I'm surprised that they did this in the first place. Or what they did for Mario Odyssey, where you're able to actually just have it in handheld mode and look around. That way you can pan the camera around based on where your Switch is. I think that would be cool too. Have the accelerometer feature of the Switch brought into the, the not warp to view. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. But guys, I wanna know your thoughts. Do you have the Nintendo Labo and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Are you enjoying the experience? Do you think it would be better in first person or that Nintendo could have done a little bit more to make it a little bit more enjoyable? Leave your comments down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.